Hey guys, let's talk about this sci-fi wall recipe. It's really a pretty cool one. It's a little bit more complex than some of the ones that you may have seen already. So we want to get into it and really understand exactly how it works. So first I'm going to do is go in and synth and I'm going to load the recipe. And you may have a different version and there's going to probably be a link to this video right here. So you'll be able to uh, click that and see this video. Uh, now that we have the recipe loaded, let's go ahead and shift A and we'll create a just a regular old cube. And I'm going to move it up G, Z, 1. So now it's sitting on the floor. And then I'll right click on it, say Shade Smooth. And then I'll go over here into the Vertex Normals and Auto Smooth it. And now we're good. I'll sign it to this default plastic that I have. Okay, so now that we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead into my layers. And let's take a look at this. It's a long set of layers. And these are selected. This one says Do First, Then Bake. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to leave these three select, but I'm going to walk through them first. So I'm going to turn this one off and let's go ahead and grab a, a face. There we go. And this is going to cut all. So I say do it and it basically removes everything in the scene. Then I'll add the next one, choose wall type and I'll press do it. And that gives us a wall type. Now, if I go into this inserts, let's go take a look at those. You'll see that we have four different insert choices that we can make and you can just choose which one you want in here. There's that one, there's that one, there's that one. So you can kind of see that we have some different ones. And there's that one, just a flat, regular wall. And these inserts have rows of selections that can be made on them. And now we're gonna talk about how we use those. So let's go back up and let's just use that first one and say, do it. And that's the what we're gonna use for our wall. We'll go back into our layers and you'll see it said, do first then bake. So I'm gonna go into my tools I'm going to just bake the object and remove unused wires. And now we have this object that looks like this and we're ready to get working on it. Let's click on middle and we're going to say all the twos on middle. And now we have to go in and we have to select the middle faces. And this is important. So we select this first one. There's a, if you can tell, there's a little tiny, like a parting line or a gap between these sets of faces. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to hold the shift key down. I'm going to select this and I'm going to select this. And so I've got three regions selected. They're all three separate regions. And with that done, and these three selected, I'm going to hit the button that says do it. And you can see we've populated just that area. Now I can of course change this seed to anything I want and press do it. And I can find the design that I'm looking for, but we'll just stick with this for now. Now that this is done, let's turn these off and let's go to the lower ones. So those are the three lowers. We're going to tab in here. And in this case, I want to select everything, including these little gaps. So I'll click here and then I'll hold the control key down and shift and click here. And that'll get me everything, including these little gaps in here, which is what I want. And with that done and the lower selected, I'm going to say do it. Okay, and now that that's done, let's go ahead and let's deselect these layers and select the upper layers. Tab in here, and we're doing the same thing here. Clicking on here, control shifting, and clicking all of the faces along the top here. And with upper selected, I'll press do it. And there we have it. Now, of course, as I mentioned earlier, I can go in here and I can, for each one of these groups, like this one, uh, I may want to change the main seed. Well, that's actually pretty good. I like that one. Let's go to the, uh, the lower panels. We'll select those and we'll turn this off. And if I tab into this, you'll see that these are selected. But if I go to my lower panels, all I need to do is click this little button here and it's going to select those for me. So they're already selected in the lower area. And then I can tab out of this. It'll take a little while because it's calculating all the booleans. I can add a different seed value. Let's try 22 and say do it. And it generates a whole new pattern down here. So once I have this done, what I might want to do is save all this. Basically save it as another insert or save it as a model for a game or something like that. So that's really it. Uh, that shows you how you can use this new sci-fi wall recipe to create literally millions of different variations. Thanks for watching. We'll see you online.